Fortnite are adding the special mythic weapon carried by a special boss. Let's see how we got here. Very first time we saw a mythical weapon carried by a boss was all the way back in chapter 2 season 2. It was Midas with his mythical drum gun. You could find Midas at the agency. This thing is just always confirmed to get through the build, I swear. It's just not fair. But if you're looking for a rapid fire minigun, then you would have to go to Grotto. Because at this location, you could find Brutus with his Brutus's mythical minigun. Did 21 body damage and 31 headshot damage. <laughs> yep, yeah, Brutus's minigun was OP, but sadly we cannot say that about Meowsicle's Pew Pew rifle. You could find Meowsicle boss at the Yort near Steamy Stacks. It did 44 body damage and 88 headshot damage. Despite the great stats, it was very hard to shoot them. You want to do that? I don't think you want to do that, buddy. Like, it wasn't bad, but there were other weapons better, like the Sky's Assault Rifle. This was a Mythic Scar. She also dropped a Mythic Grappler. You could find Boss Sky at the Shark Island near Coral Castle. Oh my god! If you're more into explosive, then Tientina's Mythical Bow might be your thing. Hit him 75. That was the second worst mythical weapon that season. Worst mythical weapon was Deadpool's dual hand cannons. Deadpool was our very first boss that was a collaboration. He took over Meowskull's Yolt. This pistol gave you siphon every time you shot an opponent. Close to that. Come on, come on. Oh my god, these things are trash. Dude, these things are so bad. Running away from me. Oh my gosh. Yep, it was really bad, but Kit's mythic weapons were, in my opinion, the best. Kit's a charge shotgun and Kit's a shockwave launcher. And the combination of these two was the best. I'm not making so Dick tricks, you just got shit. Classic mongrel. Now, if you wanted a burst rifle and a limited chug jug, you had to go to Fortilla and get Ocean's Burst Assault Rifle and Ocean's Bottomless Chug Jug. Oh, he's a bastard, so they wait, no, wait, no, 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 I timed it wrong. Wait, 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 no, am I, am I making perfect? Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. Oh my gosh. Come on. Four seconds. I timed that actually made a timer perfect. Okay. Yes! And if you thought this was cool, wait until you see the Iron Man's Repulsor Gauntlet and Iron Man's Unibeam. You could find both of these mythic weapons by eliminating Iron Man at the Stark Industries. If you were more into villains, then Doctor Doom took over Pleasant Park and changed it to Doom's Domain. Here you could fight Doctor Doom's Mystical Bomb and Doctor Doom's Arcane Gauntlet. This is what it looks like when 80 people to a Spirit Bomb in Fortnite. That was not satisfying at all. Yep, that wasn't the best. But you couldn't say that about Wolverine Boss and his mythical Wolverine Claws. You could find Wolverine at Weeping Woods and he was the scariest boss we've ever had in Fortnite. If you knocked him, he could revive himself. I think that's a bad shotgun. Boy! Wait, 10 damage! Oh, 34. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, oh my... Oh. Okay, we've got him boxed in. Boy! Wait, that's my pickaxe! This game. OP boss, but terrible mythic. Over at the desert location, we had the Amban sniper rifle and Mandalorian's jetpack. These two were Mandalorian's mythic weapons. They were very OP. Oh my god! Great mythics to probably one of the worst mythic we've ever had in Fortnite. Over at Stealthy Stronghold, we heard noises in the jungle. It was the Predator boss and he was invisible. He dropped a Predator's cloaking device. This mythic made you go invisible for about 10 to 15 seconds. But you weren't fully invisible, people could still see your outline. Oh, here we go. 
I mean, that is as, as invisible as you are going to get. Chapter 2, Season 6, Spire Assassin Boss could be found. At the Spire location, she dropped Spire Assassin's Primal Shotgun. was kind of strong but not as strong as Sloan's pulse rifle. Over at Corny Complex, you could find a Dr. Sloan boss in one of the Imagine Order's headquarters. She had the ability to clone herself, so to get this mythic weapon you'd have to eliminate her three times. Sloane was fighting against the aliens and one of the alien boss was on the map called Zig and Choppy. This boss carried Zig and Choppy's ray gun. This was a very unique weapon. It's gonna damage these guys, he's cracked. Yes, that's what- Damn it! There we go! Talking about unique weapons, we got Cube Assassin boss in Season 8. She could be found inside the Sideways bubble and she carried a Sideways minigun. One person that defeated Cube Assassin and the Cube Queen was the Foundation. He was a boss over at the Sanctuary and he carried the Foundation MK7 Assault Rifle. One of the most OP assault rifles we've ever had in the game. Foundation's arch nemesis Gunner was a boss at Covert Cavern. He would attack you with this punching ability, but if you eliminate him, he dropped the Stinger Mythic SMG, which was a really bad. Mythic SMG time. There was another boss at Covert Cavern called the Huntmaster Saber. He dropped Huntmaster Saber's thermal rifle. Now this boss had the ability to teleport and his mythic thermal rifle was kind of OP as well. We get a big Star Wars update and for the first time we saw a Darth Vader boss on the map. He carried his special Darth Vader's lightsaber. While fighting, Darth Vader had an ability to pull you towards him. He also used his lightsaber to block your shots. Please, throw this at you. I Please, hit him all the way back. This thing sucks! This thing's so bad! Herald's Burst Rifle. Herald Sanctum was the location you could find this boss and she was kind of OP. Sadly, you could not say the same about her mythic weapon. It, this looks like another bot. And honestly, guy, okay, it's not a bot, but... He had a really scary boss at Grim Gables called the Inquisitor. He dropped the Inquisitor's mythic SMG. We're summoning something. Oh my gosh! What is that thing? Gee, okay, I gotta take him down. Ow. The Inquisitor's suppressed SMG. Chapter 4, Ageless Champion was the main boss at the Citadel. And he dropped a two mythical weapon, the Ageless Champion's Excalibur Rifle and the Ageless Champion Shockwave Hammer. Chapter 4, Season 1, we got Chaos, a double agent boss. And he dropped the Heisted Breacher Shotgun. This was a very unique shotgun. It was your normal heavy shotgun, but with an exotic ability that broke a build in just one shot. Over at Brutal Bastion, a gold-blooded ace was the boss. And she dropped heisted explosive assault rifle. This was your normal red dot rifle, but the bullet exploded. So even if you shot a few inches around your enemy, it would still deal damage. Another mythical exotic weapon was carried by double agent Hush, and she dropped heisted blink a mag SMG. Every time you reload this SMG, you could run faster. Over at Mega City, we had the High Card boss and he dropped High Card's Havoc suppressed rifle. And since this season, we had so many good weapons, this weapon was kind of mid. There is a secret weapon in the file that is going to be released very soon. It is the Zapatron Mythic. We all think this is going to be a mythic weapon carried by possibly Cato Thorn, maybe during the Halloween update. This was vaulted all the way back in chapter Z Zero lasted in the game for few hours since the Fortnite BR got released. And that was because it was too OP.